I'm so sorry, guys. It's just I, I, I heard a phone call. My sister said a bit short for you to hear, but me to hear. So, uh, but I'm sorry. But to, but I'm sorry. But now I'm definitely gonna read the whole other story. So let's do it. Okay. So, into the ghost and fell on top of it. Now it was the ghost's turn to scream. Help! It said in a familiar voice, Somebody get her off me! That sounds, that voice sounds familiar, said John. Monster finally pulled away her bed sheets and found the ghost underneath was Honk! Mum and Dad, Mum, Dad, and Frank and Grock came rushing upstairs to in- investigate the screams. Monster caught the ghost, said Jen. Except it wasn't a ghost; it was Honk all along. All along. Why are you? Uh, pretending to be a ghost, said Frank and Grow. I'm sorry, said Honk. I just hate this spooky, dirty old house. I thought if I scared you, you, your visitors, you might agree to move somewhere nice. Oh, Honk! Frank and Grow hugged her. I think you'd you would better meet my secret project. Project. We've been helping him finish it, Dad explained. Come on, said Mum. Everyone ran out, ran down to the workshop. Monster went first, feeling very brave and rather pleased with her herself. Him with herself. Ta-da! Frank and Grot walked up to the lumpy figure on the figure on the couch and pulled the blanket the bla- the blankets. Underneath was a giant robot holding a mop duster paint paint and a paint brush. The robot switched on decorate it said clean tidy I know what I know what want I know you want to live in a nice clean house honk, said Frank and Grot. That's why I built a decorating robot. Mum laughed. This house will be the smartest in the town in no time. It's brilliant Hog hugged her dad as the robot hoovered the hard to reach places. Thank you. And thank you, monster, said Jen. You solved the mystery of the haunted house. Three cheers for monster, John added. But monster had already curled on the floor and fallen asleep. So solving spooky mysteries was hard work, even for, for, for furry green monsters. There and girls. So, mom's coming now. <laughs> All right, girls, so it's time that you have to go to bed now. Now, can we have another story? No, you can't. That was the only story. Fine, we'll go to bed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sleep. So sleep. Yeah. Should I go to bed? Yes! What are you even saying? Fine. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not sleepy. Let me give you a good night, kissing. All right, now let me turn on the turn off the light. All right, have have nice dreams. Hope you enjoy. Okay, bye-bye.